here where you see like we've been driving up this river on yeah. the boat yes. and I reckon I've seen about at least 10 different fish farms already yes and in the island nearby Kakba Tao I also have a handsome fishing village yeah where they have uh, around over 300 from the now it's look like that they make wow. fish farm and they work in town in the ocean wow yeah it's unreal fun riding around Katba Island. We have to wear the masks to protect the locals. They're so isolated here so we can't bring any disease or anything. Not that we're disease carriers. Oh, this is pretty cool. This is riding a bike. Haven't done that in a while. came down this mountain and it went straight into a cave and we had to stay to the right side because there's other people coming through and you just couldn't see them, it was so black uh, but you could see this light at the end of the tunnel going through riding the bike flat out through that, that was cool Beautiful butterflies out there, hey? That's a bit a quicker way to get around very cool we're in a little traditional village in Katbar Island we're just going to, for a walk through the rice paddies and then we're going to come back and learn some more about Katbar Island and have some lunch. Welcome 
to rural Catbar Island. We are visiting a village that used to be a fishing village, but they've changed to breeding livestock, goats and ducks and chickens and the like, um, basically to cater for the tourists. So, but it's a beautiful setting. <laughs> on an ancient bamboo bridge. Okay, so you see here, we've got some traditional uh, fishing nets. Uh, they, these ones here, they catch uh, a lot of catfish in the rivers. Uh, and you've got same in Australia, obviously very similar with the drum nets, what you catch with fish. But you can also with shrimps or yabbies, and they catch the same here with these smaller ones here. You can see, but this is all traditional ways that they uh, catch their fish here in Vietnam. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> you just saw the uh, cobber in the jar. They leave it in there for a minimum of six months before you can drink it. The first three months, uh, it's poisonous to drink because it's breaking down. But now, uh, after six months, it's fine to drink. So I'm about to try my first ever Cobra wine. You think at the start, it's not gonna taste that great, but actually it just tastes like, very similar to the rice wine. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. And they're on. That's insane. Me and Andy are the only ones that uh, can keep our feet in the water for a bit. They're uh, having a good old feet.
So if you think you're coming to Harlong Bay for a nice relaxing cruise, well, you could do that, but they have heaps of awesome activities and you're just gonna have an absolute ball. One of the best things you can do is kayaking. Just grab a kayak off the back of the boat and come and explore some of these amazing rock monoliths. And some of them have caves you can canoe or kayak straight underneath. Great fun. Beautiful caves to explore, secluded little beaches you can pull up on. And just relax. And just spend some quiet time together. Thanks for joining us on this uh, adventure of Harlong Bay and all of North of Vietnam. We hope you enjoyed the series. And we really hope that we've inspired you too to get out there and have your own Fair Dinkum adventure. See you on the next episode.